Welcome back to Sports Sunday. I'm joined with KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss. Brian, thank you for coming on today. Thank you, Vanessa. We have so many questions involving Deshaun Watson. We've had a lot of viewers email us. So let's start with some of the frequently asked questions. The biggest one, when will this potentially end? Vanessa, it bears repeating. This is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. By way of contrast, we're only really in the top of the first inning. And unfortunately for Rusty Harden and Sean Watson, Tony Busby has put a crooked number up on the board in the court of public opinion with the sheer number of lawsuits. These are civil lawsuits. These are not criminal. What does that mean in layman's terms and how could that affect the case? You know, we like to think that the civil and criminal justice systems are alike and in mm -hmm. fact they've got less in common than, you know, Longhorns and Aggies. <laughs> Look, the first thing that we need to talk about on the civil side is the burden of proof. It's preponderance of the evidence, and that's a fancy legal term, and watch my hands here. The scales of justice, mm -hmm. the party that shows 51% versus 49% of the credible evidence wins. On the criminal side, we all remember from civics, beyond a reasonable doubt. But more importantly, there's a presumption of innocence on the criminal side. There is no presumption of innocence on the civil side, which is why in the minds of, of many people in the court of public opinion, Deshaun's presumed guilty, which of course is not fair at all. On the other hand, on the criminal side, Deshaun has the right to remain silent. He's got the right not to testify, and the prosecution can't use his silence mm -hmm. against him. What a lot of our viewers may not know is that on the civil side, that doesn't apply. One of the other questions we've gotten a lot from our viewers, what does this mean for Deshaun Watson as a football player? Not necessarily a citizen accused, but what could this mean for him on the field? Look, that's a great question. I really think there, there are two distinct issues he has to contend with. One is paragraph 11 of the standard player contract, mm -hmm. which gives the club, in this case the Houston Texans, the right to void his contract if they reasonably believe that his personal conduct has adversely impacted impacted or affected the club. As a practical matter, they're not going to do that. Why? Because they need to keep him inside the tent. Godfather one, keep your friends close, enemies closer. They know that if he is not inside the Texans tent, so to speak, when the time comes for that now famous trade that I think everybody's relatively certain is going to happen, if they don't keep Deshaun happy, what are they going to get for him? A 53rd round pick and, and gift cards at Dave and Buster's. Based on your experience, what happens next? Well, certainly one other element of what's going to happen to Deshaun on the professional level, there is a woman named Lisa Friel. She is going to be conducting this investigation. And what we know is that the NFL can suspend Deshaun Watson even if he is never charged, convicted, or sentence. I think on the civil side, I think Rusty, Harden, and Deshaun realize their protection's breaking down. They're going to have to take a big sack. I think ultimately the civil cases are settled. I think that Rusty and Deshaun write a number of checks, sign a number of NDAs. Do you think this is far from over? Oh, I, I, again, top of the first inning, Rusty Harden, God bless him, uh, doesn't even have the bat in his hand yet. I really think that this litigation doesn't begin in earnest until Rusty's up at the plate. And believe me, uh, this is not Rusty's first rodeo. Rusty made his bones as the same the mob as a prosecutor who put more men on death row than some states before he became a successful criminal defense attorney. Tony Busby, on the other hand, has made millions and millions and millions of dollars in mass tort litigation, bringing major corporations to their knees. Uh, I, I, Tony Busby's a brawler. He's the guy that you want having your back in a rumble. Rusty Harden is a puncher. He's the guy you want representing you if you get charged from having been in the rumble. Interesting, Brian. We appreciate your insight so much. Thanks for your time. So we're going to have this full interview on click2houston.com. Brian, thank you.